If you haven't heard yet and you're in real estate, there's some changes coming to the market through the NAR settlement. And if you want to know about it and you want to know how to be prepared, don't miss this episode. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Justin Ford Podcast, where I'll be releasing life-changing principles and valuable information focused on all things faith, finance, family, fitness, real estate, and so much more. Let's go! Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Justin Ford Podcast. Again, as always, super excited to be with you here again today. Guys, if you love the show, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button here on your favorite podcast platform or right here on YouTube. And if you're really loving the show, do me a favor. Uh, leave us a five-star review. I love to hear uh, from all of you that are listening. And, you know, obviously, if, if I know you're listening, but if uh, a lot of times I don't hear back, I always wonder, like, who's listening and how do they like the show? So, again, if you haven't left any feedback, you can do that on your favorite podcast platform. Or if you see me uh, or, or you know me, I uh, always appreciate the love on sharing the uh, information on how you're liking the show. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet on social media, let's connect. You can at the official Justin Ford again at the official Justin Ford. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, uh, also known as X and also here on YouTube. Guys, I got a great show in store for you today, but before we get into that, I do want to remind you that this episode is brought to you by my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. Nextdoor Lending is a team of professionals that believe everyone should be treated as if they lived next door. The founders and team members have more than 150 years of combined loan experience, helping clients all over the country choose the best loan program to help you accomplish your goals. Nextdoor Lending is currently licensed in 26 states and has a team of over 100 loan officers specializing in helping you get the best rate and terms. And so whether you're looking to refinance your home or you're looking to purchase your next home, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending today at 888-885-3667 or visit their website at nextdoorlending.com. And so wanted to just go over this episode with you here on some changes uh, that have recently developed for the real estate industry. And so if you're a real estate agent, and you're listening into the show, uh, hopefully this is going to help you. If you're obviously a listener and you're a buyer or a seller potentially in the future, hopefully this will give you some just some uh, shed some light or some accurate information, because we know that there's been a lot of stuff that's been put out there regarding the uh, National Association of Realtors settlement that recently took place with the Department of Justice. And uh, immediately once the settlement was announced, which by the way, at, at the recording of this uh, podcast, it has not been finalized. It's supposed to be finalized in July of 2024. And so it's just a tentative settlement that hasn't been finalized, but we do have some details of what that settlement would look like. But what's interesting was once it was announced a few weeks ago, all the major news outlets came out and said, realtor commissions are going away, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. That is not true. Okay. That is not true. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a few minutes here giving you some facts on, you know, some information around this settlement Obviously, uh, there's there's no uh, finalization of it yet. And really, if you're a real estate agent, you know how you can really be prepared and ready for that. And I was actually on, on my way to the, the studio today. My team and I, my Justin Ford real estate team that I have, we do a weekly huddle. Uh, and we did the huddle uh, on, on, on my way driving to the studio today. And what we talked about was is industry changes, not just real estate, but every industry at some point changes and you need to be ready for when things do change. Business changes always. If you just look at the marketplace, if you look at history, things change. And one of the things that I've been doing is watching a lot of documentaries on how things started, how things changed, what caused some, you know, a company to step in and revolutionize how something has been done. And the companies that do not learn how to change, the, the, the people within an industry that don't learn how to change as things change, really get left uh, in the dust or, or, or altogether out of the, the specific line of business. And so when you think of real estate and you think of some changes that are coming, 
how can you best prepare yourself as a real estate agent to ensure that you are changing with the changes and not getting left behind? And so I want to dive right into it. So I want to talk about what what the purpose of the settlement was. Really, uh, the, the settlement that took place with NAR was basically the Department of Justice felt like real estate agents and or the National Association of Realtors, you know, were controlling how commission was paid. And just to set the record straight, commission has always been negotiable. There is no set commission that, hey, this is the, the number or or not. Every real estate agent can come to any buyer or seller and say, this is what I get paid for, or this is what I charge to do business. Now, a seller and or a buyer can, can always negotiate that, okay? Our commission at my team, my personal commission as a real estate agent has always been negotiable. Doesn't mean that myself, my team, and the consumer are always going to agree on what those numbers are, but it's always negotiable. And what they what they basically came out and said was, is they felt like agents were controlling uh, how much commission was charged and there was no negotiation around it. And so what what they obviously found was enough to say, hey, there was some, some something here and we want to settle. Because when, when you go up against the Department of Justice, you know, that's, uh, that, that's almost like a, a hill that you could continue to climb for a long time, which would all, all, you know, really cost you a lot of money. And so what happened was, is the National Association of Realtors basically created a settlement that they would pay $418 million over approximately four years for the settlement of how commission uh, was being uh, paid or or uh, negotiated with with buyers and sellers, and so I want to give you guys just some some key key overviews or some key terms of this. Uh, these are not my opinions, so these are coming directly out of the settlement, and I wanted to share these with you so that it could shed some light on where you are. And honestly, if you're a real estate agent, hopefully you're with a team or a brokerage that is already working with you or teaching you, you know, uh, how to be prepared and ready for changes that are going to be made. And so uh, I want to give you some key terms of the agreement. Number one is the release of liability. The settlement agreement would release the National Association of Realtors and over 1 million National Association of Realtors members throughout the country uh, from any obligation or any liability for any types of claims or future claims uh, that would be brought from home sellers related to broker commissions, okay? Uh, the next one would be that compensation offers. So as a real estate agent up until now and through July, if, for instance, I meet with a seller and we agree to a 6% commission for me to list and sell their home, the way that traditionally or how it's been is that the listing agent usually offers out 3% of the 6% commission to a buyer's agent. That's just how it's been for a very long time, or it could be two and a half or whatever. But usually there was a 50-50 uh, split in the commission. So the, the listing agent would usually get half and the buyer's agent would normally get half. And again, this has been completely negotiable uh, and never been a set thing. And so what they're saying is that the National Association of Realtors has agreed to put in place a new rule prohibiting offers of compensation on the MLS. So no longer will a listing agent be able to uh, take the agreed commission from the listing, which is with the uh, listing agent and the seller, and publicly offer out a percentage to a buyer's agent. And so that will no longer be able to be available publicly through the MLS. Now, a, a, a real estate agent will be able to call the listing agent. A buyer's agent will be able to call the listing agent and find out what that commission offered is. Uh, the other thing moving forward is up until this point, as a real estate agent, as you know, a buyer could potentially find a listing on Zillow or one of these third-party sites or whatever, even your own listing, call you and say, hey, I'd like to see this house. And as a real estate agent, you could potentially agree, sure, I'll go show you 123 Main Street. Well, that's no longer going to be um, allowable unless there is a written agreement for 
you to show that buyer that home. So in order to show a buyer a home moving forward, a written buyer agency agreement will be required. And what will be in that agreement will be the compensation between you and that buyer. So for instance, let's just say a seller says, I will pay the listing agent commission, but I will not pay the buyer's agent commission a a full 3%. I'm willing to offer two. And so then as a buyer's agent, you'll need to meet with your buyer and say, this is what I charge as my commission. So let's just say you meet with the buyer and you say, my commission is 3%. So then you go show this house and the listing agent and the seller are only offering out a 2% commission. Then based on the agreement you have with the buyer, they're responsible to pay you 1% of the 3% because 2% is being offered. Now, Let's just say you met with your buyer and you agreed to a 2% commission and yet the seller and the listing agent are still offering out 3%, but your agreement with your buyer says 2%, you can only get 2% of the 3%. You can't go up. So you, it's whatever the agreement states between you and your buyer that you can be paid. So if it's 2%, but the listing is offering out 3%. You still only get 2%. You can't change it. This is based on what was written. Okay. Again, this is not my opinion. So written agreements will be required moving forward, which is actually great because if you're a real estate agent, how many times have you gone and shown a buyer a home and that was it? They just had you show them a home. You never heard from them again. They didn't use you or, you know, Um, You went and showed a buyer a home and they showed you, you know, a few times, but then they wrote an an offer with a friend or a family member that they were already working with and and they never told you. Well, that won't take place anymore. And we don't know how those agreements will be written up yet or if they're going to be limited servicing, you know, agreements based on, you know, even if you're a listing agent, someone calls you and wants to see your listing, they have to sign an agreement with you for you to show your own listing based on what this says. Okay. And so changes are coming. And again, this, this podcast is not to say this is the, you know, this is how you need to do it or whatever. I, I really just felt led to, to do an episode on this for anybody that is still, you know, struggling with knowing what's going on or, or how, uh, you know, how things are changing or where we go from here. Because I think a lot of agents are worried about, you know, am I still going to be able to get paid to do business? And the answer is yes, because it's not so much, how you're getting paid is changing, not so much what you're getting paid, because it's all going to be negotiated based on the value that you bring. And it's going to be important for you to know that. Now, if you're a seller or a buyer, um, you you know, if you're a seller, typically you up until, you know, these changes have paid the commission, right? Now, you don't really have to pay anything on the buy side up until this point. So that that potentially obviously could change. One of the things that this settlement has said is you're not going to be able to offer out a a commission, but you'll you'll be able to offer out a concession. You will be able to advertise on the MLS based on what we've received that you'll be able to offer out a concession. So for instance, if the sales price is 200,000 and the the seller agrees to give out a 3% concession, that equals $6,000 on a $200,000 listing price. So if the the seller agrees to give out a 3% concession to the buyer, the buyer could use that for their closing costs. Well, commissions are part of the closing costs that they're being charged, so that could technically be offered to cover the commission. So again, uh, there's a lot of things that are going to be changing and coming down the pipeline, but as a seller, uh, you'll you'll still you'll still be paying some type of commission to the listing agent, and and probably offering out concessions to a buyer to cover costs. If you're a buyer, you may get stuck having to pay the commission to your buyer's agent. Again, you know, as as things progress here and things unfold, you know, I plan on bringing on guests and other people who can really speak to this moving forward to really help you as the listener, whether you're an agent, a buyer, or a seller, to know the changes that are taking place. But at the end of the day, you pay for the value that you get in return. So if you're a seller and you have an agent who's offering in some incredible value to help you, you know, get your home sold, it's worth paying for the value. If you're a buyer and you're working with a great agent who brings a lot of value to the table and a seller's not offering you concessions and you have to pay the buyer commission, guess what? 
you're paying for the value that you're getting from that experience and from that relationship. And so more to come on that. Now, so a couple other things here is the, the National Association of Realtors does continue to deny any wrongdoing. They've long maintained and continue to believe that Cooperative compensation and NARS current policies are good things that benefit buyers and sellers. They promote access to the property, uh, property ownership, particularly for lower and middle income buyers who can have a difficult time saving for a down payment. With this settlement, National Association of Realtors is confident it and its members can still achieve those goals. So they are still, um, you know, continuing to deny any wrongdoing of, of the commission and how it's been done up until this point. Okay. And so... As a buyer, I'll say this as a buyer's agent, it's going to be important to, to, to make sure that if you have a buyer and they are looking to hire you, you're going to have to know how to explain these changes because you're the expert, right? If a buyer comes to you, especially a first time home buyer, you need to be able to educate the buyer on what these changes are and what value you bring to the table. It all starts with building a relationship. This business is a relationship business, and it's all about building rapport with the person that you are looking to work with, right? If you, if, if you have a buyer or seller that's looking to work with you, it all starts with a relationship. And one of the things that my team and I do when we work with a buyer is to do what we call a buyer con- uh, consultation. A buyer consultation is where you're educating the buyer and holding their hand through how the process is going to go, learning more about what their goals are, and creating a game plan to create success for that client. And that's where you will educate the buyer on what's going on, build a relationship with them, and really prepare the buyer for what's going to take place and and, and how that process is going to go. So I highly recommend if you are not doing a buyer consultation right now, really learning how to do a great buyer consultation. If you're on the listing side, which, which again, you know, if you work with uh, the seller, Again, you're going to have to know how to communicate the changes that are taking place, build rapport with them, build the relationship with them, and show your value. Show your value. And one of the things that that you can you can let a, a seller know when they're asking you questions about this is, you know, if they ask you so much as saying, hey, I saw this on the news or I heard this, what's going on? You can, you can pretty much just let them know is what you pay is most likely not going to change. How you pay it is what's going to change. Because if you think about it, you're going to have to pay commission one way or another because if you're selling a home and buying a home and you don't want to offer buyer com, you know, uh, concessions you know, through the transaction, but yet when you become a buyer, you have to pay it, you're paying it one way or another. So what you pay is most likely not going to change how you pay it is what's going to change. And so uh, one of the things, as you guys know, I'm a coach with Glover U. And recently, uh, Jeff Glover uh, did a webinar on really how to prepare for what's coming down the road. One of the things that I love about Jeff, and for those of you guys that don't know, I started my real estate career with Jeff and his team back in 2013. And one of the things that I attribute to my success is learning how to really communicate with buyers and sellers through learning scripts, learning how to overcome objections and really learning how to come from a place of value and contribution. And Jeff taught me how to do that right off the bat. And one of the things that I've continued to do, even though I have my own team and I'm not with Jeff on his team is I've continued to stay connected to him and his organization through Glover U. Glover U is a a coaching company in North America that helps uh, buyers, agents, listing agents, and agents all together, teams, brokerages on how to succeed at a high level when it comes to being skilled and trained and agents of value. And so I coach with Glover. You have been coaching with Glover. You now for five years and yet I'm still a student at the same time because the changes that are taking place in the industry are new for everybody, not just for an agent who is new or just getting into the business. And so uh, we had about 6,000 agents register for this webinar that, that Jeff recently did because everybody wants to know what's going on and where do we go from here? And so one of the things that we did was, is we went through an, an hour and a half training with Jeff on what's going on, what is this, this, this settlement taking place, and how do we navigate around it, and how can we serve our customers and our clients at the highest level. And so one of the things that Jeff went through is scripts and dialogues on how to communicate 
what's best going on. Because if you don't know and a buyer or seller asks you what's going on and you don't know what's going on, they're going to look for another agent. It's just how it goes. They want to work with someone who knows what's going on. They want to work with someone who's skilled and professional and you need to be that agent. And if you're a buyer or a seller and you're listening and you're, you're not a real estate agent, you need to find a agent who is skilled, trained, and, and has value to, to help you when you're looking to buy or sell your home. And so uh, one of the things that we went through is, is how to do that. And we have these, these dialogues or these scripts that my team and I at the Justin Ford team have been writing out every day because we want to be trained and ready on how to serve our customers and our clients at the highest level uh, and be able to communicate this and not just wait for, for it to be brought up, but to bring it up and let them know what's going on and how to navigate through it and what to expect. That's the type of agent you want to be. You want to be skilled, trained, and ready to add value and help your clients at the highest level when it comes to the changes that are taking place. Because, you know, one way or another, you know, again, even though there's changes, a seller may not end up paying the full amount on the sell side, but if they have to pay on the buy side, again, everybody's affected by it some way or another. And so being skilled is super important because you want to be able to know how to communicate with clients. And speaking of communicating with clients, my team and I use an incredible software uh, system called Red X. Here's more about Red X. Are you a real estate agent looking to sell more homes this year and make more money, but not sure how? The answer is simple. You just need to talk to more people. Being a real estate coach and teaching thousands of real estate agents all over North America and personally selling on average 100 homes per year, the thing top producing real estate agents have in common is that they use systems and technology to get in front of more people and have more conversations about real estate. And the system I use every day to ensure my success in real estate is Red X. Red X is my secret weapon for success in this competitive world of real estate that allows me to take seven to 10 listings on average every month. Red X provides me with the highest quality homeowner lead data, phone numbers, and industry leading communication tools to connect with homeowners actively looking to sell, giving you the edge to be the first agent in the door. Red X's triple line power dialer will boost your conversations, connecting you seamlessly with more motivated homeowners ready to sell, allowing you to leave pre recorded voicemails effortlessly for those that don't answer. But that's not all. Say goodbye to time consuming neighborhood farming. Red X provides you with phone numbers and addresses for homeowners in your area in seconds, making prospecting a breeze. How about investors and landlords, pre foreclosures, for sale by owners and expireds? Red X is your all in one prospecting solution. Don't miss out on the opportunities waiting for you. Take the first step towards increased production, more listings, and long term success. Visit sellmorewithredx.com right now to start your prospecting journey with the most accurate contact information on the market. And because you're a listener of my podcast, RedX will waive your $150 setup fee. Go to sellmorewithredx.com and start selling more homes today. All right, guys. So that's another way to be able to communicate with, with clients, especially if you're looking to build your business and go to the next level. But back to what we're talking about here with the NAR scripts and dialogues is if you want a copy of these scripts, I literally have eight pages of scripts and dialogues for um, how to be best prepared and ready to go with the changes that are taking place here um, with NAR. Then I want you to shoot me an email. You can email me justin at gloveru.com, justin at gloveru.com. Dot com And I will make sure that you get a copy of our scripts and these scripts from, if you're a real estate agent, will give you the information that you need to be able to communicate to both buyers and sellers at the highest level so that you can, uh, again, come from a place of contribution and know what you're talking about. So again, if you want a copy of these scripts, there's eight pages of scripts with what to say and how to say it, then I want you to email me justin at gloveru.com and I'll make sure that you get a copy of these scripts. And so with that said, I just wanted to give you this brief overview of, of what's going on. Again, still more to come. I'm not the expert on this and I've only taken information out of the settlement that 
uh, was given and shared information uh, with you on that and really how that you as a, as a real estate agent need to be prepared if you plan on being in this business for the years to come. So again, reach out to me. Uh, if you have any questions, you can you know message me through email. You can find me on social media. Uh, reach out anytime. That's what I'm, I'm here to do is I'm, I'm here to help. And you know even as an organization at Glover U, we want to see you win. And if you're a real estate agent and, and you just feel like wherever you are, as far as, as far as a brokerage standpoint or your team that you're not getting the training or this isn't even a thing yet, then reach out to me. You know, we're, we're building a network called the Legacy Network all across the country uh, through our brokerage. And we're, we're training, equipping and preparing real estate agents, you know, to, to be ready for changes, but also to win at the highest level. If you ever want to have a conversation about what that would look like for you, doesn't matter what state or even country you're in, because we're in uh, 30 countries, you know, reach out to me. You can definitely find me on social media. You can email me and I'm here to, you know, have a conversation with you and talk about what that looks like. Okay. Awesome. Well, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode here of the Justin Ford podcast. If you find some value in this, definitely reach out and let me know. Hit the subscribe button here on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. Uh, again, if you haven't followed me yet on social media, you can at the official Justin Ford again at the official Justin Ford. I do want to remind you that this podcast is brought to you by my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. Nextdoor Lending is not just a sponsor of the show. This is our personal lender at the Justin Ford Real Estate Team. All of our buyers, we refer to Nextdoor Lending. They have over a thousand five-star reviews, a perfect A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, and they get the job done. And so if you are a buyer thinking about buying this year and you need to get pre-approved, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. If you are a seller or a homeowner thinking about refinancing, maybe taking some cash out, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. And if you're a real estate agent and you're looking for a great lender partnership, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending today at 888-885-3667 or visit their website at nextdoorlending.com. <laughs> Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Two things I always like to leave you with. Number one, it's not how you start. What matters is how you finish. And number two, with God, all things are possible. God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.